Oh my gosh. I escaped. What just happened? Ah, so I have found you. I'm finally out of my trap and you show up immediately. Oh, how do you even know where to go? After the debacle with Gugamon shapeshifting, I knew I had to double check the golden cube. Once I realized you really were gone, I had a hunch. Why would you put me through all of this? It's torture. Could you leave me be? No. You must learn what it means to endure and overcome both physical and mental pain. I'm done with your tests, or revenge, or whatever it is that you're putting me through. I'm getting stronger by the day, and soon I'll be beyond your control. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Why won't you let the islanders live in peace? Because I'm claiming their land. Deal with your problems however you want, but don't bring everyone else into this. You wouldn't understand. Then teach me, instead of locking me up. You don't have what it takes to contribute to my plans. Fine, mother, but I will not fight you. Why do you hate me? None of this is my fault. If anyone, it's your sister's fault. Refusing to fight me? So be it! Uh! Oh, did someone mention me? I see we're having a family reunion here. <laughs> huh? Auntie? Did you two miss me after all this time? Sister, what is the meaning of this? Why are you here? I've come to finish the job that you were tasked with. Destroying the island and converting it into cube territory. Hmm. Clearly, you were too weak. <laughs> father was right. I am the stronger daughter. Don't mention father. He was a ruthless tyrant. Enough talk, mother. We need to take her down. Right. <laughs> Come and get it. <laughs> Quick, channel your inner power, Torin. <laughs> Let's go! Now? Are you willing to spare me from your insane traps, Mother? Maybe. If you help me defeat Obliterator. I've been trying to defeat you. Or at least form a treaty. Now you want me to help you fight your sister? Yes. She could end our reality as we know it. All she seeks is power. All you want is power. So why should I join you? Listen to me, Torin. I am trying to build something beautiful, wonderful, better than any oasis you could have ever imagined. I want peace, Mother. Not some stupid utopia. We have to leave the idea of our home planet behind. We can have everything we want, right here, as it is. You still do not understand. You're too young and naive. No, I am not. I don't think you understand what is at stake. But, apparently Obliterator is a bigger threat right now, so I will help take her down. If you promise to get rid of the Sideways and your cube monsters, and leave these people alone. I will promise nothing of the sort. Fine. Good luck finding Auntie on your own. No. Torin, wait! I need her on my side! Come back! Torin, my love. Good to see you, Thorin. How did you escape the cube? I had to focus all my energy in a positive way. You mean you didn't rip all right through the cube? No, I tried, but it was impossible. What do you mean you focused your energy in a positive way? I cannot comprehend it. I had to meditate, and as cheesy as it sounds, I actually started thinking about you guys. You really do love us. You were the first one I thought of, Venom. Reflecting on our dates made me so happy. And I also thought about you too, Chimpansky. How you always help us out. I appreciate the kind words, Thorin. But how did you physically leave the cube? I gained a sort of blue power, and my teleportation abilities increased. 
I actually jumped out of the blue cube. The blue cube? I nearly forgot! What do you know about the blue cube, Chempensky? My studies on the blue cube are rather minimal. I've been distracted by everything else going on. It's mostly a mystery to me. Sorry to interrupt you two, but there's something else I need to mention. What is it? The Cube Queen's sister, Obliterator, has arrived on the island. She has a sister? We will rip her apart, just the same as the Cube Queen. Obliterator seems to be more powerful than the Queen. My mother wants me to fight alongside her, but... Where does that leave us? Well, I know it sounds crazy, but joining forces with my mother may be our only option now. Are you sure about that, Torin? After all she's done to you? <sighs> Where is Obliterator currently? I'm not sure. My mother and I had to flee, but there's no doubt Obliterator will track us down. We will protect you, Torin. Actually, I was thinking you and Chimpansky should go investigate the Blue Cube. I believe its mysterious powers could really help us. <sighs> I trust your instincts, Torin. We should get the move on Venom. But we've just been reunited. We think you should go to the Cube Chimpansky, and we will not be far behind. I will commence the research. See you in a short while, Venom. And please, Torin, stay safe. No one is safe, Chimpansky. I hate that I agree. Goodbye, comrades. Oh, Venom, I missed you. We've gone crazy without you, Torn. We couldn't stand the thought of you stuck in that cube forever. Come here and give me a hug. Mm. We're only thinking of you every moment, Torn. We don't trust the Queen. You must call upon us if you need help. I will. You're my man. Now, get some rest. We must be going. He may be big and scary, but I love him. Ah, uh, haven't been back here in a while. What secrets do you hold, Blue Cube? Huh? Is someone there? Don't move. <sighs> Who are you, and what do you want? I'm researching this cube for my own purposes. Who are you? None of your business! You're tough, but you can't kill me. What's your name? <sighs> I'm Kor. Now tell me your name. J.B. Chimpansky. At your service. And who do you work for? I was once an astronaut, but my crew abandoned me. Now I am here fighting against the evil power the cubes have brought about. An astronaut, huh? <laughs> and evil cubes. <laughs> who do you work for, miss? Core. Nobody. <laughs> I'm self-employed. But sometimes I take contract gigs. Who supplies these contracts? The Cube Queen? No. Oh, I stay away from her. <sighs> but sometimes I'll take what the Imagined Order has to offer. Hmm. <laughs> imagined Order? I don't trust them at all. Neither do I. Unless, of course, they pay me up front. So... What kind of contract work do you pursue? Research? I'm an assassin for hire. Were you sent here to kill me? Oh, I would have shot you already if you were my target. Then who is your target? That is confidential. What do you want with the blue cube? I already told you. It's personal research. Well, I need to sample its electrical frequencies. So if you don't mind me, I'll get on with my business. Where are you taking your findings? Why should I tell you? I can watch your back. I don't trust you. I don't trust you either. Ha! We're equal then. 
Now, let me sample this cube. Die, ah, you freak! Yo, who's in here shooting up my homie? Talk to me, Googs. Are you alright? Ah, I ain't gonna make it, Jenks. Nah, nah, you'll be good. Come on, get up. They shot me five times. Those freaking blockheads really went guns blazing. Five times? We gotta get you to the doctor before limbs start falling off. <coughs> I told you, I ain't gonna make it. I'm on my last breath over here. You can't die on me, Gogs. You're my best friend. I won't let you. You're the best friend I ever had, Jenky. Could you do me a favor? Sure, whatever you want. I got you. What is it? I can't go out like this. It's lame. <coughs> I need to go out with a bang. So, like, you want me to shoot you with a rocket launcher or something? No, no. Even better. I want you to put me in the car, place a brick on the accelerator pedal, and let it drive off a cliff. Damn. That is pretty cool. But wait. Are you sure about that, Googs? That'll be the end of you. Yes, you gotta help me. I've always thought if I run my last leg, that'd be the way to go. You know, like in the movies. Plus, you can always steal another car after I'm gone. I like your thinking, Googs, but it just won't be the same without you. <coughs> uh, nothing lasts forever, Chanky. All right, you're all set. Thanks, Jenky. I owe you one. All of my prized possessions are yours now. Oh man, I don't even need them. See ya, Googs. Peace out, brother. Sayonara, suckers! Ah! <laughs> oh man. I'm going to miss that bunny. What am I going to do now? Charlotte, I've escaped. Torin! Oh my gosh, are you alright? Yes, I'm alright, but the island is more dangerous than ever. More dangerous? You mean less dangerous, right? Did you hear that I killed Carnage? You killed Carnage? <laughs> That's amazing! Good riddance. At least he's out of the way. I had a little help from Midas, no biggie. But what happened with the Cube Queen? How did you escape the Golden Cube? I was able to teleport out through the Blue Cube. It took a while to figure out, but once I really focused, I was able to get the hang of it. Oh, wow. I'm kind of jealous. Sometimes my own sword doesn't even like me. Don't get too jealous. At least your mom isn't a crazy queen who hates her own daughter. Surely your mom doesn't hate you. You both probably just need to find some middle ground. I think we finally have. In the form of her sister. My aunt. Her sister? The Q Queen has a sister? Yes. Her name is Obliterator. And she's even more cruel and power hungry than my own mother. Oh no. We can never catch a break. I just wish I had more time to train. I could be one of the best warriors this island has ever seen. I think these battles are your training, Charlotte. You have a point. Well, what's your next move? First, I'm gonna get some rest. And then, figure out how to get my mother on our side. Do you think that'll work? Now is a better time than ever. All right, I'll leave you to it. I need to go talk to the squad. Okay, see you later, Charlotte. Bye, Torin. Welcome to my laboratory. Some of the best science experiments of all time have taken place here. Oh really? Of all time, huh? Yes, I am very proud of my work. <laughs> I only wish my space comrades could see it now. You've got a lot of equipment lying around. Mind if I check it out? Sure, why not? But, if you try to steal anything or tell my secrets to the Imagine Order, <laughs> then I will turn you into a banana faster than you can say chocolate sundae. Hmm, so you're telling me I have to be extra sneaky then? 
Please refrain from being sneaky. I do not like sneaky snakes. It was a joke. I won't steal anything. Very well then. Please come with me. If I align my pickaxe with these electrical receptors, then I should be able to reproduce some amount of the blue cube's energy. All right. Let's see it then, Mr. Astronaut. Yes! It worked! We've been able to reproduce the energy of the blue cube! I'm not sure what just happened, but it's, it's extraordinary. That's what happens when you visit Chimpansky's laboratory. I can't wait to tell Torin. Torin? You know Torin? Yes, I have fought alongside her many times. She is one of the toughest on my team. Do you know her? Hmm, very interesting. I know of Torin. Never met her though. What's next in the experiment? I'm curious if we'll be able to conjure anything from this cube. Like what? A ghost? What about the fighter? Isn't this a bit like Pandora's box? Once you open it, you won't be able to contain whatever comes out. And you may regret it. Ha! I regret nothing in the name of science. I have always learned something from even the most dangerous experiments. Maybe I should leave. Mm. I personally would not like to die right now. No offense. No, you must stay and witness the outcome. I guarantee it will be marvelous. There's no reward without a risk. Well, oh, all right. But I'm out of here the second something goes wrong. And I won't care about damaging your equipment if things get crazy and I have to run. So be it. Let's go to the sun chamber so I can shock this cube and bring it to life. Lead the way, astronaut. Okay, the mini cube is all set to go. Are you ready, Core? Sure. Don't know what to expect. Me either. So, you may want to stand back. Um, okay. It's showtime, baby! Okay. 